previously on the Ricardo family. You don't sound too good, Jasmine. Are you okay? No, I don't feel good, Mom. I think I'm sick. Mom! Mom! Oh, I don't feel good. Mom! Jasmine, did you call me? Jas- <gasps> Jasmine? Jasmine, wake up, honey. I'm calling 911. 911, what's your emergency? I need an ambulance straight away. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss any of our videos. And if you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button. It really helps us out. We also have some major exciting news. We have merch available. Check out our website at www.littlemonkeymedia.com to see all of our t-shirts and accessories available for purchase. And we just want to give a big shout out to all of you, our fans. Thanks for watching, guys. Ricardo family, Jasmine's sick at the hospital. Mom, the ambulance is here. But not a moment too soon. Someone called an ambulance? We did. It's my daughter. Please help her. Don't worry, sir. Let's get her on the gurney. Mom, I still don't feel good. Oh. Jasmine, just hang on. The ambulance is here. We're going to get you to the hospital, okay? Okay. Look out, sir. We got to get her on this thing straight away. Of course. What's your name? Uh, uh, Come on, do you know your name? Her name is Jasmine. Yes, we know. We're just trying to see if she knows who she is. What's your name? Uh, uh, no, she passed out again. We gotta get her to the hospital. Straight away. I'm coming with you. I'm sorry, ma'am. But we don't have room for you. Just the patient and us. Listen, I don't care if you have room for me or not. That's my daughter and I'm going with her. I'll stand, I don't care. No, you won't need to stand. All right, you can come and sit in the extra seat. I'll stand. At least that way, then I can get a better look at her. I'm coming too. I'm sorry, sir. There definitely isn't room for both of you. Charlie, let's go. You bet. Honey, I'll just see you at the hospital, okay? Wait, the car's not working. How am I going to get there? Oh, right. Oh, I know. What about George? I bet he'd come back to drive you. That's a good idea. Yep, I'm going to call George. Thanks, honey. But... Mom, I want to go with you. I want to see Jasmine. I'm really scared. I've never seen her like that before. I know it's scary, buddy. We're all a little bit scared. But you heard him. There's not enough room for us in the ambulance. Your mom will go and make sure that Jasmine is safe and sound. And we'll meet her at the hospital. Okay? Okay, Dad, if you say so. Mom, please take care of Jasmine. Make sure nothing happens to her. I will, Johnny, I promise. I gotta get going, guys. I'll see you in a little bit. Dad, what's wrong with her? Why is she like that? I don't know, buddy. I don't know. But the doctors at the hospital should be able to figure that out. We just gotta stay positive, buddy. Gotta stay positive. Alright, there. I gave her an IV. Hopefully that stabilizes her a little bit. How long has she had this fever for? Last night she was fine, and this morning she had it. I gave her some children's medicine to try to bring it down, but it wasn't working. All right, what time was that at? Um, let's see, it was first thing this morning. Around 8 o'clock, I guess? All right, they'll give her something when we get to the hospital. <coughs> Hang on, Jasmine. We'll get there as fast as we can. Charlie, let's get going. You got it. Okay, Johnny, I called George. He was already on his way home, so he should be here shortly. Dad, I want to get going right now. I need to see her. I need to know she's okay. I know, bud. Me too. Dada, we saw an ambulance. Yes, we saw an ambulance pass us on our way home from the park. It was very exciting. How's Jasmine doing? Is she feeling any better? No, Mom. She's not. Grandma, it's horrible. That was Jasmine in the ambulance. What? Jasmine? In the ambulance? Oh, dear. What happened? Jazz Jazz in ambulance? No, no good. You're right, Grace. It's not good at all. She passed out, Mom. We couldn't wake her up. We were going to take her to the hospital in our car, but it wasn't running. So I called George. He's on his way to take us there. Oh, goodness. Where's Lucy? Mom's in the ambulance with Jasmine. Oh, that's good to hear. All right, well, when George comes, Johnny, you can stay with me and Rick, you can go. No, Grandma, I'm going. Jasmine's my twin sister. I need to be with her. Dad already said. That's okay, I already told Johnny he could come. 
Well, maybe Grace should stay home. Could be a long night. No, Grace go too. Now, Gracie, honey, once we know Jasmine's all right, Grandma will take you, I promise, okay? But I want to see Jazz Jazz. Grace, honey, it's going to be long and boring. Once Jasmine's feeling a little bit better, then you can come, we promise. Okay? Okay. I'm here. Let's be off to the hospital. Judy, my dear, did you hear the horrible news? Yes, I did, George. Drive safe, but quickly, all right? Indeed, my dear. I'll drop the boys off and then come straight back to be with you and little Gracie here. That would be very nice. And then if any of you need a ride home, just give me a call and I'll come get you. That sounds great, George. Thanks. We better get going. Yeah, we've been waiting long enough. Bye, Grandma. Bye, Grace. All right, dears. You let me know what's going on. We will, Mom. I promise. Indeed, my dear. Talk to you shortly. Rick, let's go. Oh, poor Jasmine. Jazz, Jazz, be okay. Please. Okay, mm-hmm. Yep, just gonna listen down here. Do you know anything yet, Doctor? Hmm, heart sounds fine. Lungs a little congested. Let's get some blood work done. Yes, Doctor. I'm sorry, Doctor? Yes, Mrs. Ricardo. No need to be sorry. Why don't we step over here and we can chat? All right. Well, what's wrong with my daughter? I think it was just the flu. I'm not 100% sure just yet. Still need to wait on some tests. But our first concern is her fever. We've got to get that down. And her fainting and not being able to talk? That's from the fever. It's making her a little bit delirious. We can bring her body temp down and her fever down. Hopefully, everything will be okay after that. Hopefully? Like I said, I'm still not 100% sure as to what's actually going on with your daughter. We're going to get some blood work done, and that should help narrow things down. I'll be back in a little bit to check on her again. If you need anything, just call one of the nurses. All right, thank you, doctor. Come on, Jasmine, honey, you gotta pull through, sweetie. There, I have all of her blood work. I'll be back shortly. I just gotta deliver this to the lab. Jasmine? Jasmine, honey, can you hear me? It's mom. I need you to wake up, honey. I need you to stay with us. For one of the first times in my life, I'm really scared, honey. I can't lose you. Please, fight. Stay here. Oh, Mom, is that you? I'm here, honey. I'm right here. How are you doing? My head hurts, Mom. I don't feel good. And I'm cold. Oh, I just want to go home. I know, honey. I know you do. We're at the hospital. And they gave you some medicine to make you feel better. Jasmine? Jasmine! Nurse! Nurse! Yes, Mrs. Ricardo, what is it? My daughter. She woke up for about, I don't know, 30 seconds, and then she passed out again. Is there anything else you can do? Not at this moment. We just have to wait for the medicine to work. I'm sorry, Mrs. Ricardo. We just have to wait. I'll go call the lab and make sure they put a rush on her blood work. Thank you. <sighs> Jasmine, stay with mommy, honey. Don't go. Jasmine! Your brother's here. Hi, honey. Any news? No. Nothing yet. No change. They gave her some different medicine and they took some blood work. They might have to do some other tests. I don't know. Still waiting for the doctor to come back. And? How is she? Any change? No. It's the same as before. She wakes up for a little bit and then goes right back to sleep. And her temperature is still really, really high. The doctor said that she comes in and out of consciousness because of her fever. I'm really scared, Rick. I don't think I've ever been this scared in my entire life. Jasmine, it's Johnny. You gotta get better, okay? Because I have lots of plans for us this summer. And if you're not here, I can't do them without you. Don't leave me, Jasmine. You're my best friend. I can't be a twin without my twin. <laughs> jo Johnny, is that you? Jasmine, I'm here. Don't go back to sleep. Please stay awake. No, I don't think I'm gonna go back to sleep. Mom, Dad, she's awake. Jasmine. Hey, honey. How are you feeling? Daddy, is that you? Yeah, honey, we're here. We're here for you. Jasmine, are you okay? I don't know, Johnny. I just feel so tired, but my head doesn't hurt quite so much. That's good, Jasmine. That's good to hear. I wonder if the medicine's working and your fever's finally starting to come down. Nurse! Nurse! Yes, is everything all right? My daughter's awake. I think maybe her fever's coming down. One moment, let me check. Mm-hmm. 
Well, anything? It looks like her fever's broken. Isn't that fantastic news? Yes, it's amazing. Oh, thank goodness. I'll go let the doctor know. I'm sure he'll want to see her as well. Did you hear that, honey? Your temperature's going down. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, thank goodness indeed. All right, Jasmine, you fight that fever. <laughs> Johnny, I don't think I had anything to do with that. I think it was the medicine. <laughs> oh, oh. What's wrong, honey? You okay? I don't, I don't know. My tummy hurts, like, really, really badly. Hurts like you're going to throw up? No, it just hurts really bad. Nurse! Is everything all right? No, now my daughter's in pain. I'll go get the doctor. And how's Jasmine? I hear her fever's down. Yes, but now she's in pain. Said it's her stomach. Slip aside, folks. Let me examine her. Johnny, come back over here so the doctor can get in there. Okay, hang in there, Jasmine. Hello, Jasmine. I'm your doctor. Now I hear you're having some pain now. Oh, yes. It's in my tummy. Just gonna have a little listen to your heart and your stomach, and then I'm gonna touch your tummy a little bit, and you tell me if anything hurts. Does that sound okay to you? Okay. Heart still sounds good. Can you take a couple big deep breaths for me? <sighs> there you go. Yep, just like that. Okay, let's listen to your tummy. Mmm. -mm. What is it? What do you hear? Just a few gurgles. You haven't eaten breakfast today, have you? No, I wasn't feeling good this morning. Oh, ow! Okay, I'm just gonna put a little pressure. You tell me where it hurts. How's here? No. And here? Ow! Yep, yep. Right there. And over here? Yes, there too. Hmm. What is it? I think Jasmine might need to go for a CT scan. Did you find something, though? There's definitely something in her abdomen. Doctor, the lab results are back. You're going to want to take a look at this. Right. Excuse me. Something in her abdomen? Mom, um, what's going on? What's wrong with me? Oh, try to stay calm, honey, okay? The doctor's right here. We're going to find out, and then you're going to be okay. I promise you. Yeah, we're here for you, Jasmine. Don't worry. You bet, honey. Whatever it is, we'll take it head on as a family. We're here for you. Set up a CT scan and let surgery know that we may need them. Right away, doctor. Did I hear you right? Surgery? What? Surgery? <gasps> surgery? I don't want to have surgery. Johnny, here, you talk to Jasmine while we talk to the doctor, okay? Can you try to keep her calm? You got it, mom. Let's talk over here. Johnny, I'm scared. I don't know what's wrong with me. <sighs> don't be scared, Jasmine. I'm here, I'll protect you. Remember, we're twins. Where one goes, the other goes. We'll be together forever, I promise. Thanks, Johnny. Well, surgery, what's going on? Well, I did feel something when I examined her abdomen and some of her levels were very high. And what does that mean? What did you feel in her abdomen? I ordered a CT scan so we could get a better look, but there's a growth. A growth? What kind of growth? It could just be a cyst or it could be cancer. It could be. I'm a little bit worried because it's painful. It might be pushing on a nerve or something around her abdomen. Once we get the CT scan back, we'll know more. Rick, our daughter could have cancer. What are we going to say to her? What we always say to her, that we're here for her and that we love her. Johnny. <laughs> the end. Thanks for watching. To join all the fun up in our treetop, please subscribe to Little Monkey Media's channel. Don't forget, if you like our video, please share it and click like. We go banana!